So I want to give you a quick demonstration of a, a switch out in the filament. Um, you don't have to remove the fan. I'm just going to do that for clarity. And uh, we're going to be switching back between Ninja Flex, Pet uh, Pet G, and uh, PLA. Right now I've got Ninja Flex in there, so I take off the motor. I just unspool my Ninja Flex. I'm going to go to let's go to PLA next because that's what I've got here. I've got it set to 230, so it's a bit a bit hot for PLA, but Should be fine. So tightening it down, I get it down to where I'm, I'm seat, you know, I'm seated in. I'm, I'm getting tight, and it's just like a maybe a quarter turn, half turn more, not much more. I'll extrude out a hundred, and there comes the the Ninja Flex and a little bit of PLA I'm going to do one more hundred Alright, so we truly have PLA in there, and uh, I'll go ahead and switch back to the Ninja Flex. Um, I haven't slowed down the acceleration, I've still got the, the 4 for the, uh, the extruder that uh, is kind of standard, I think, at least that's what mine came on. If I could see the end of the tube, there we go. It's a little harder to push this stuff in because it's flexible, but not too big a deal. And straight down in there, and I'm seated all the way in. So sometimes if I'm not sure if I'm, you know, I'll, I'll loosen it up a little until I see that it's loose and then I'll tighten it down. Stuff's pretty susceptible to being over tightened because it's hard, you know, it's hard to tell when you do. And I'm just going to extrude another hundred. And I haven't done, you know, I haven't slowed it down or anything. And it's uh, pushing it right out. And do one uh, another hundred. You know, I, I haven't slowed down the acceleration on the extruder, but it seems to me that it's coming out slower than uh, than the PLA did. Um, I think this has to do with just how much it can force it through and kind of having a, a limit, a natural limit within the, the material itself. Uh, of course this is the, the Ninja Flex, you can see me 
pulling that out. Um, so we'll switch back to the. Let's go to uh, Pet Pet G. I've got some yellow here. Pull that in. Uh oh. This stuff has been run through the Bowden side. I like to push a little through if I can, just by hand, kind of minnow on uh, down in the nozzle completely. And we'll give it a hundred. And you can see how it seems to come out faster than that Ninja Flex. I've printed about a half roll of the Ninja Flex through, and uh, I've yet to have it jam on me. Um, I've tried going faster and uh, faster, but uh, it, it appears that it's really, even though it won't jam. It doesn't, uh, there's another hundred, uh, even though it won't jam, it, it just won't go through any faster, whether it's slipping up on the gear or um, something that's, it just won't go faster. So I can get a print a speed, a decent print speed of about 23 millimeters per second with the, uh, the Ninja Flex. All right, back to Ninja Flex. All the way down in here. Stringy everywhere. Maybe make it a little bit tighter. And extrude a hundred. And it's working on it. And there comes the Ninja Flex. Give that another hundred. We'll just do another hundred. And uh, no jamming between the, the switch out. And of course this is this is Ninja Flex. 
Bye.